<laughs> I have slain the beast! I now you have defeated the dreaded Orochi! We know, we know. Now will you stop repeating yourself? Commend your bravery, Shiranui! But it was I who felled the foul beast. <laughs> yeah, whatever. Furball here did all the work. Anyway. Where did Oki go? He left without saying a word. Well, at least we saved Lika. I've got a bad feeling about this. What's that Orochi's up to now? I thought he was dead! Hey, Pops! You'd better get over here, quick! Shiranui? Ami? You... You saved my life. Hey, you guys! This battle's far from over. Now get out of here while you still have the chance! Is that old man Ishaku? Get out of here ourselves. You know that wolf who helped Nagi? That was Shiranui. Or in the other words, that was you a hundred years ago. That was how you met your end after you ventured with Gramps. You battled and slew that dreaded Orochi only to die yourself. Isun, is that you? Hmm, Lika? It's been ages. Too bad we had to meet like this. What made you go through the Spirit Gate anyway? Spirit Gate? What's that? All I remember is two owls appearing in my dream. They invited me to come play with them in the forest. Next thing I knew, I woke up there. Thank goodness you and your doggy came to save me. You had a dream about two owls? Aren't the guardian gods of Kamui owls? Why would the owls lead you here? Look, Ami! The sun! It's starting to wane! The day of darkness is about to begin! This day-long solar eclipse only happens once every hundred years! Day of darkness? What's that? It looks like something's taking a big bite out of the sun. Ami, you're the sun god. What's gonna happen to you if the sun disappears? Sun god? What's that? Lika, you can recite the volcanic incantation, can't you? It's supposed to make that frozen mountain Isafuji erupt, right? Well, you better do it because Kamui's gonna freeze if you don't! Volcanic incantation? What's that? You mean the prayer we offer to the mountain by the lake? Yeah, I can mimic the prayer of the old man Kamu perfectly. He even told me that I do it really well. I know, I know. That's why we need your help back in the village. Let's go, Ami. Back to Webkir as fast as you can. Hey, everybody. It's Ario Flair, and welcome back to Let's Play Okami. In the last episode, we were able to continue on history in the form of Nagi completing the defeat of Orochi in 100 years before we have to go over and defeat it in our present time. 
And in this episode, we finally found Lika! Much to the dismay of you-know-who, because his sword just didn't want to work. There's only so much time in this. Now, I will say, look at that. That is the final glaive in the entire game. I think it's only fitting that we do this. Now, something interesting about the sword is you can actually draw lightning from it. Now the blizzard is getting super, super dangerous. I would hate to be in this weather. And they're just sleeping. Come on, we're almost there. No one die of frostbite yet. I really should be playing these mini games. I don't know why I stopped. Whoa! Now it's one nasty blizzard. It's blowing from here in the rear of the village. Anyway, we gotta get Lika to the altar. We're almost to the edge of Laochi Lake. I still can't believe this little girl is the only one that can actually recite that thing. We're finally up top. Does he have to say anything to Lika now that she's back? No, no one's home. I would imagine that's everyone. No one would be home. They're probably at the altar trying to recite the incantation as best as they could. I mean, I would. If I didn't have the power and I needed to make that volcano erupt, I would so try my best. I don't want to freeze to death. Sheesh, what's up with this nasty blizzard? I mean, where the heck does this thing come from? I don't know where it's come from, but I know exactly where it's ending. Huh? I thought everyone would be gathering at the altar. Nobody's here, not even the old man Camu or Samikul. We can't make lay a prayer here all alone in this weather. It's all gone. Where the heck did everyone go? I think there's only one logical explanation as to where everyone went. It's still super dangerous, though. Also, look at this owl. I never brought attention to this, but look at this owl. You can't do anything to it, but man... What's everyone doing here? Hey, I brought Lika, everyone. So what's up with this nasty blizzard? It's the day of darkness. The day comes once every hundred years. Now it's upon us again. That's why the monsters are making the blizzard even fiercer. And Oki, how could he be so irresponsible at a time like this? He destroyed the gate here on his way to Waku's shrine. What? I tried to stop him, but he was waving that Kutani sword about. And he was through. He was through. He went. He was through the gate before I could do a thing. Now Kamui could freeze over with the weather, over whether the eclipse comes or not. Oki suddenly disappeared after we defeated Orochi. Never thought he'd come here and do something like this. I bet he just wants to steal all the glory for himself. No, Oki is not like that. I understand why he took the divine Kutani sword. He was trying to do what was right for the village. When the two demons got violent at the shrine of Isofuji, it was Oki who came to Kemu's rescue. Huh? I thought Samiko was the one who gave old man Kemu. Oki acted as bait so that Kemu and Samiko could escape. 
They survived because Oki acted as their shield and fought for them. Oki is the strongest among us, but even so, he was no match for them. He was lucky to come home alive. Wow, that's quite a feat surviving a battle against two demons. But he was angry that he couldn't defeat the demons, so he took the sword and left the village to fight again. I know it's unforgivable that he stole the sword like that, but he was just trying to do the right thing. All he cares about is doing what's best for the village. It won't be long before the eclipse makes the sun disappear. If the volcanic incantation doesn't start Isafuji erupting again, Kami Kamui will get colder until it freezes over completely. Please, Lika! Relying on you to make this work. Oki always told me what kind of Onya he wanted me to become. He told me to be a good Onya and use my power to help everyone. Do you think it'll help everyone if I prayed like I always do? Who cares about this stupid blizzard? I'm gonna pray for our mountain to come back to life! That's my girl. Let's go, my little warrior. If you don't start the incantation soon, it'll be too late. I don't know about you guys, but we gotta go up this mountain. There was another reason. Another reason why Oki went off with the Divine Kutone Sword. The wall of ice shall shatter and open the way to the heavens, where Kutone glows silver. Legends has it that the sword is the power to ward off evil. That's why Oki left the village with it. He was going to use the Sacred Sword to fight the monsters alone. Ugh. The cold air from the mountains will freeze over people to death unless I shut this gate. Hey, Gramps! Gramps! Don't overdo it now. Those demons will do you good if you don't cut this out. Leave me be! If I'm not able to recite the volcanic incantation, then I'll utter the prayer to the shut the gate. Yeah, but it doesn't seem like it'll be working, does it? We really gonna go through there, Ami? The ruins of Waku Shrine lie within Izafuji. It's a strange place discovered uh, discovered by the people of Webkir long ago. At the peak lies an altar with the statues of the twin demons. And the trail up there is littered with odd contraptions. The twin demons are known as Leku and Neku. Their altar statues came to life and terrorized this land long ago. They were defeated and imprisoned by the legendary Onya hero. But it seems they have broken free and are once again wrecking havoc. This can't be just a coincidence. I mean, remember what that No Good Ninetale said? You know, the thing about Yami, ruler of the land of darkness? I don't know exactly who this Yami character is, but all sorts of strange things started happening once Orochi returned. Who knows if this mountain shrine has anything to do with that at all? But I think we need to be extra careful this time. Here we go, guys. The final dungeon. Waku Shrine. Technically not the final dungeon. Again, I really should stop saying that, but whatever. Oh, I remember these. Wait a sec, Ami. See those cannons over there? I'm not sure they're used. I'm not sure they're there to greet us. Let's take it slow and easy. What you actually want to do is Veil of Mist, and you'll be able to see the cannonballs coming. You can hit them back, and they end up looking like that. But for some reason, these icicles actually just grow back. It's weird. Come over here, dig up this chest. For a ruby tassel, pure red gems lend a dynamic touch to this piece. Dig up this one for a stray bead. No, I think that's 97. Yeah. Oh, wow. We only have a couple left. Whoa. Now, look at this place. I will say, I love the music, I love the ambiance, and it's really cool to just, you know, sit here and actually look at that, but I will save this for the next episode. I'm sorry, guys. I've literally been recording nonstop for about two hours now, and I really want some sleep. <laughs> See you guys next time!